Hello, shops, and welcome back to an exciting session of Burning Wheel. Burning uh, sorry. trucks. Sorry, um, Burning Wheel. Burning Rangers. No, Starting wrong. with Bone Master That's number one on my left, Phil. Hey, so I'm best friend on the board, playing a character called Siegfried Craft. And then the delightful Klyka. I am uh, Klyka, and I'm playing a character called Christoph Anador, aka Klyman. <laughs> I'm Rufert. I am the Rufert. I dominate. Well there's, a, there's some uh, loud typing. That's Henry, I would assume. Yeah, unfortunately, sorry, uh, Henry, I'm afraid you have to not type because that, that keyboard comes too strongly through the mic. <laughs> Sounds like you have a, you have a just, box just, of little Just a little loud. Seconds. And so, I and I am Kikoski, and I am playing Judson Pond. Still no bridges. I like to keep them, this microphone keeps it real and picks up the important sounds that everyone wants to hear. Still no bridges, I'm afraid, from Judson, so... Okay, you're all shit, you're all reported. Okay, Great. now, when we last left the group, you were all struggling in your various ineffective ways to get to a party. Well, we'd just gone to check back at the warehouse to find that these two had left and weren't there yep. anymore after being told, by, as Sigfrey was told, that they were going to bust in the party, I believe masquerading as uh, brass, brass empire Empire's people. Yep. <laughs> and we were left with a conundrum of what on earth we were going to yep. do with this information. And, and Dominic was... Uh given the invitation I received, and he was uh, going to make up a character with the last name Schroeder, <laughs> who has one of the noble families. Like no other. And uh, I was going to sneak in through the maze-like backyard and climb up to the building. Which is the plan. Okay, excellent. Um, in that case, we uh, just, just to establish character, Rufit, your, your disguise was that of a rather obese man, wasn't it? Uh, he, had belly, belly. Yeah. he had a little pot belly, and uh, but otherwise he's fabulous. He's you, sort of shoved... man. He's sort of man that could carry that. You know what I mean? Okay, so but you've shoved an awfully large number of pointed implements, explosive implements, toxic implements. He has etc. a a belly that he can empty and fill, uh, so that he's like all of... bellies, like <laughs> all bellies, <laughs> like a sack. It's a sack for looting. He's gonna fill it and not appear burdened by it in any way. That seems unnatural. It's also if you go like that stomach. man is fat, and then he fills the belly, and people are still that man is fat. Yeah, so, like that. So anyway, that man has a sack that jingles. Anyway, it makes Excellent. sense. Um, so first, we have to deal with the fact that Kiko and Phil have to decide what they're going to do, um, having been given this news and being back at the Clyke, because Clyke and Rufert are off to the party already. Well, it's more like it's more like a function rather than a party. It's not like that they, they suddenly <laughs> come to this crazy party, man. It's more like. Come and come to this diplomatic function where there'll be <laughs> kind of like a foodish. brass empire eyes wide shut kind of thing going on. <laughs> I think Meg Ryan might be turning up. Anyway, so, so uh, Fidelio, Phil and Kiko, how it would shape your discussion going to take? Now what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The two characters stare at each other in silence, gazing rapturously yeah. into each other's eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at each other. Well, oh, Judson. <laughs> Doesn't... <laughs> so good. There are only a few ways I could think that this might be more complicated than it already is. And I hope they don't happen. I have complication. Phew. <sighs> the hell was up with that? Right. right. Uh, we're, we're playing on moon gravity at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so the dice will be going slightly who, further. Who all, all very rolls, unclassily burned. All the rolls have increased drama because it takes longer for the dice to find their correct size. So, any suggestions from you, Siegfried? That you might want to catch up with Christoph and Dominic. And that you might not want to kill anybody. Who knows what's being planned at the moment. What's being planned is irrelevant. What you're going to do is something you can control. I'm going to keep up appearances. By killing people? Preferably not. Hmm. Preferably. <laughs> There's an 83% chance that somebody won't end up dead, according to uh, Phil. People are but ham to Siegfried. <laughs> Just gets out the carving knife. He's like, ah, oh, yes. The doesn't have a huge amount of... Uh... He doesn't have a huge amount of sympathy for the Brass Empire. Since, it's not know. just the Brass Empire that's going to be there, you know, Siegfried. It's going to be people from the other quarters as well. Mm. As well as any number of servants, helpers, 
guards, bodyguards, gardeners. It's, it's also worth noting that uh, one traditional phrase for human flesh is long pig, relevant to the ham comment. Anyway, so you, you, are you two coming up with a plan, or, or are you agreeing with the suggestion to go along? Well, my suggestion to him was that he should catch up and warn Kristoff. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get them. I don't know which way they went. I won't find them. You're That's asking true. me to find two people in a city. Well, no, I'm asking you to find two people in an embassy. I'm not going into the embassy with the express purpose of finding them. So yeah, there is a problem. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have an invitation, so he I don't have, have an invitation. I won't be able to get in. But you wouldn't. You would still know about Clyca's uh, plan to but enter I don't. from the and back. And besides, even if I go in there, you wouldn't I don't know what on earth the they're going to them. look like because they're both going to be disguised, no doubt. And we don't know what they look like. Mm, we do know that Rufa was making a pot belly. And how many noble dignitaries do you know that have put on a few pounds? The benefit is that Rufa might know what you look like. <laughs> Yeah, and not so might name. anyone else who knows anything you can about stay anything. stay here if you want to. I'm, I'm going. Not, I'm not planning on staying here, but I'm not planning on doing what you're suggesting either. You're lost. Mom, <laughs> Dad, stop fighting. Okay, so this is this is where you yell wild card bitches and jump out of the moving car. Yep, there's no okay. moving car. Either way, I'm I'm making that date with the um the thieves guild or whatever. <laughs> making the date. The cartel. Getting your makeup ready. So I have faith on a one, the warehouse collapses. We're not in the warehouse. Damn it. Okay, so, um. Phil, so you're, you're gonna try and make it there for about 9, I think was the time that I said. Either 8.30 or 9. We had nine. to reach, uh, we were grouping up at 8.30 for 9 with the, yeah, with the rest of the cartel. I like the fact they're using quite precise times at a time where they wouldn't have had good clocks. <laughs> they but... wouldn't have out you had like clocks, yeah. I let's, know. Let's, let's say there's an extremely large. Let's call it Large Benjamin, and every so often it tolls, and you can hear what time it is from Large Benjamin. Indeed. Well done, Large Benjamin. Um, <laughs> or it could be the, the Unseen University's tower. Who Judson's, Judson's intent is to go back into the warehouse and make for himself a disguise okay. so that he can blend in with any common servants or... I'm, I'm going to say you don't need to make one because you can still, you, you can use the one that Rufus and you made earlier. Yeah, oh, good. I thought you were going to say you already look like a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> look like a peasant? Object achieved. Yeah. You meet a strange man in a barrel. <laughs> Does he look like a peasant? Anyway. No, he, looks like a, he looks like a 12-year-old who's been abused. Yeah, anyway, Kiko, yes. And then I'm going to go to this embassy and find out what, what, the, uh, what it's like. Uh, okay, in that case, before you get there, um, Clayker and Phil will have got there first because they set out first. Obviously. So you two chaps have to say what if, what if anything you're going to do before you get there. Sorry, look, Kleiker and um, Dominic have to decide what they're going to do. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give Dominic again like just a quick overview. I'm not going with you. What? Yeah, he's not going with you. Dominic, you're literally off, going it. there together. No, no. You both set off before we arrived back to the Clay Cave, yeah, but I don't think off, that meant it? you were going together. Uh, D Dominic, Dominic swings by a, a market uh, on the way there to get the thing. <laughs> to find also, some eggs. So, so wait, the, the, the okay. <laughs> so step one, the date didn't go well when we couldn't find each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, so we're not going you... in to say, he's going in from the back, I'm going in from the front, there's no yeah. reason to show up So together. you're, we're so you're saying that, well, that it's, it's kind of like a spit roast. Well, what? We... <sighs> yes. I don't know. We kind of have to talk about, like, what to do, though. I was going to show you, like, a bit of the layout Teamwork! of the embassy. Yeah, but, but I'm looking Since you just ran off and let me... fucking finery. I'm not talking to you. Since you okay, just... okay. So that's fine. That means... <laughs> okay, uh, so he just team... runs off and leaves me alone in the middle of the street. So I just go, this guy is such a fucking loon. I hope they catch him and chop off his goddamn hand. <laughs> anyway. Teamwork! Anyway, uh, so I make myself... I make myself to the embassy. Um... And, well, basically find the best approach of how to once it gets dark. I mean, or, or is it already dark? Probably not yet, right? No. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's summer, we... so it's, it's hmm? getting dark, let's say, about nine. Oh, okay. What's up? Anyway, so uh, I'm going to set up, like, in the back where I know that there's the garden, and I'm going to see if I can... I mean, it's obviously fenced, right? Oh, yeah, there's a huge, massive wall around the whole thing. Yeah, okay, I'm going to... I'm basically trying to, from a distance, try to find a place where I can easily climb over the wall once it's dark and get into the uh, gardens with the hedge mazes and everything. In. 
Uh, there are actually there are two entrances. There are extremely large, ornate iron gates. Okay. Oh, well, actually, one half of them is iron, the other half brass, because you know you there there's a man. Pun? Wait, this is on the on the front though. This is on the front. This is the big front yeah, entrance. On, that well, goes basically, into the I want to get in through the back. I want to get in through the back. <laughs> so I'm looking if there's any like you know like a little. I don't know, like a like a little hole in the wall or something that I can use to easily <laughs> climb it, or like a you know like a broken out stone, something like that. On Ob's four perception. Okay. Uh, Ob's four perception. I have perception four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I do it carefully. I check it carefully. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, I am going to use a fate on my perception. Give me a Excellent. sec. Uh, what the hell is this shit here? There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's looking over his own sheet and just all the You shall be the most fabulous of the, in the ball, Dominic. Let's hope that it works. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. That is a nine. Okay, so I don't find anything. Okay, there's not an obvious uh, way in over the wall. However, you do find the back gate, which is. Well, it, it's kind of wooden. You could fit a cart through it, but that's about it. Okay. And it's significantly less well guarded. There's only one guard there. He looks thoroughly uninterested in the goings on around him. A large number of scruffy deaf people are proceeding in and out, some carrying things like tons of larks. Oh, so the, the gate is actually removed. open. Oh. Yeah, it's open. I mean, because okay, the, the, the thing is, these, these gates are guarded, but they're not closed. Is there, um, is there a, can I, can I see if there, is there like a cart trying to pass through or something? Uh, well, you could certainly wait. Seat. Let's just say that you can wait until there is a cart coming through, yes. Well, basically, I want to wait and keep an eye on the black back gate, but for now, I'm just kind of checking if there's an opportunity for me to slip into there, like maybe get on a cart, get okay, through no, no, the no. door, and jump out. So you're waiting for something to happen? Okay, so... Wait, well, I'm waiting for something to happen and for it to get dark. Okay, cool. So while that's happening, on, happening, we must return to Dominic, who is trying to make his way in through the front, I assume. Uh, Dominic swung by a market to get uh, something first. Uh, what do you swing by a market to get? Uh, something that causes severe stomach cramps, possibly a little flask. You want something that will cause stomach cramps? It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just any... I think by definition that's quite fancy. Unskilled poisons-wise. You can't find somebody poison? who actually sells poison. No, no, so... but you could just take some fucking ammonia or cleaning liquid. It doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah, yeah but your character doesn't doesn't have the type of knowledge that would allow that. to know that. So, what I'm going to say is, unskilled poisons-wise, opt two. Fuck. That's a perception skill. You have to get four successes. If you get four successes, you identify some common or household ingredient that you know will cause stomach cramp cramps and not. Can I it. smell it? And then uh, you need to know think, what you're looking if, for if this first. Is if, if this is foul enough for me not to want to drink it, it probably do the trick. You still need to know what you're looking for. <laughs> it's this noble wandering around sniffing horrible things <laughs> in the street. Yeah. Mm -mm. Ah, fuck it. So I get the wrong thing. <laughs> you want? Okay, so so you're saying you're definitely buying something. Yeah, I'm buying something. Obviously. Okay, what you, you you find some plant that looks to you like it vaguely reminds you of a plant. It, it you would might be have a flask. It will be a flask of something. You want some sort of liquid, so I assume something to coat Chesterfield sofas. Okay, excellent. So you, you, let's say you from a shop that normally sells paint, you find what looks like a small bottle of strong smelling clear liquid that you can feel the inside of your sinus is peeling off as you smell it you're like oh this is oh, no, shit right a, here oh yeah that's nice all right <laughs> yeah he's he stashes this in the, the belly am i am i gonna be stealing this shit well unless you're stealing it uh are you gonna be stealing it yes yeah sure i'm gonna kick fucking before i get there okay uh i'm saying, I'm saying the, the, the reason you find this is because you literally just find it out the back of a shop in a oh. thing it looks like it's waste or something so it's scavenging uh, yeah, but I'm saying it's not a scavenging test. You didn't have to make any effort to find it. Okay. Well, on the way to the party, then. On the way to the party. So who gets where, when? Uh, you guys are... We might... We'll actually get there before um, Sigrid is, because Sigrid's waiting for the um, party... the His party to start. That is true. Unless so, he's doing something else. Kiko, what are you doing? Well, I would uh, like to use authority-wise to conclude that considering... As a general rule, with guards, when uh, nobles and people of any important worth are involved, if guards... So, so you're using authority-wise for this? Yeah, if, yes. if guards from the non... I don't know about the Brass um, Empire, but not uh, normal quarter guards are uh, mm -hmm. brought in, 
they use bludgeoning weapons because they are loath to admit that they ran a noble through. Okay, yeah, that, that's, I'm going to uh, I'm going to say that's obs one. It's not a hard thing. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm saying that's basically probably going to be You can't carefully consider these, can you? Uh, you can absolutely carefully consider yeah. otherwise. You can do everything in this game carefully. Uh, nope. I'm going to say it's true anyway, because However, it would be true. that's now authority-wise three. Noise. What I'm going to say is that it's like, um, it turns out that although they have cudgels, they still have swords as well. That's fine. Judson doesn't know that. It's like, don't worry, they're just peacekeeping. They'll only Judson, have clubs. So Judson, so someone comes in with like a great sword. Judson is not even thinking about going through the front entrance. Okay. So that he would naturally conclude as a uh, a man of uh, not much wealth that people of that sort go through the back entrance. Okay, so as you you come to the back entrance and you need to roll a perception test. Mhm. Mm and that is obs is only 3. Obs is 3. Oh, yes, that's a pass. That is indeed a pass. Five, and you, you notice. Three. Yeah, routine, As you wander enough. up to the back entrance, you notice over skulking over by a tree. This course is quite nice. All the all the, the roads are pretty broad, and they didn't have large trees in them and stuff. Um, you notice a familiar figure skulking by a tree, observing the entrance. In which it is none other than one Kleiker K Kleikerson. In which case, I go straight up to him. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. What do you say? Hello, Christoph. Hi, Christoph. <laughs> Hi, Christoph. <laughs> I go, I go, Judson. There you are. Bad news. Uh, I've got some good news for you, and I've got some bad news for you. Let's go with the bad news. Bad news is, is that uh, Siegfried has been roped into a group of people who are going to uh, attack this function, dressed as black as uh, as Brass Empire uh, people. I'd say Black Empire people. That would have been weird. <laughs> yeah, if I guess it subtly racist. No, no, no. That's like it's like it's, it's like the generic evil villain army, isn't it? Siegfried. The white. So now you're calling black people generic evil. No, no, Luke. Oh. Continue onwards. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? How did he get roped into that? Well, remember when he was um, um, infiltrating that group of people? Yes. Uh, they're of the general belief that it's time to get their own back as the Brass Empire, so they're going to attack the function masquerading as Brass Empire people to get the Brass Empire in trouble. Oh, this makes so much sense. Yep. Okay, and the good news? I managed to warn you of this. I put, I put a, a hand on Judson's shoulder and I just go, Thank you, Judson. So, uh, guys, just just quickly before the next thing, I, I want to read you a haiku from chat. Fist sure. swings through broken wall, strikes foe with great misery. Potatoes fly onwards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you, short chat. Steal it? Is that even a question? <laughs> but uh, what does he not steal? So, Siegfried is intent on going on this. Uh, Kiko, but wait, wait, wait! I need to Kiko. Kiko grinds levels, obsessively cooks their food. If only it helped. Hey, he's the only reason they are all dead. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's true. So anyway. you're trying to get in. So Siegfried is going along with this. Um, I hope he's going to plan not you're to kill. You're absolutely sure this is going to happen. Absolutely. About Do we know the time when? Roughly, um, roughly near nine bells. Nice uh, world building knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm like, uh, can can I see the clock from here? Uh, no, it, you can hear it. It's can a, it's I, a it's like. Okay, can, can I roughly estimate? Can I roughly estimate how late it is? Like how much time we have? How left? many bells have gone yeah, by? I'm, I'm, I'm going to basically every quarter of an hour you get some indication. Well, and as how, far as how you much reckon, it's, it's it's a little bit before eight o'clock at the moment, just by your reckoning. It's like after quarter. It's nearly eight, nearly nearly eight bells. So eight we've bells. got about half to three quarters of bells. We need to get. I'm planning to go through the back. So we got about what? Wait, what are you planning to do in there? Well. If things are going to go terribly wrong, I'm pressing. I'm going to try and find an advantageous position for if things go terribly wrong for me to act. Hmm. I just hope I don't shoot Siegfried by mistake. If there's okay. one thing that we can try and do, yes. is we can try and get people out of there if things escalate. Hmm. So if we could keep the back door open, we're safe. That well. works. But we can't. <laughs> We can't be responsible for everyone in there, especially not those brass empire bastards. 
But remember, you guys do have an hour before shit gets real. We do have an hour. We need uh, to, we need to come up with a plan, and we need to know what to do. I, but I still need to get in there and see if I can find w any documents or mm. anything that gives us a lead. Well. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the front gate, Dominic. <gasps> Wait, I just want to say one more thing to Judson. Mm -hmm. Like basically, so Judson. You take care of the people in there, and I'll take care of getting what we need. I'll nod to that. Because honestly, Christoph doesn't give a fuck about the people in there. <laughs> Ooh, good thing you didn't say that. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, the front gate. Mm. Dominique, you are confronted <laughs> by a rather large... I mean, this is just as most people are turning up, so there are a bunch of extremely fancy carriages and so on. I will be um, back in one minute. Mm -hmm. And there are four extremely uh, overwhelmed looking guards letting people through and so on, checking the invitations and so forth as they go into the rather beautiful gardens. How are you going to approach this? Well, he just struts up and that way <laughs> a fucking man can strut with a small walking cane and a big fucking feather in his hat. The and uh, just uh, hands over the uh, invitation to, the gar to one of the uh, guards and uh, doesn't even acknowledge he's there beyond that. Okay, step one. What, we, what I'm going to need you to do is write down the disguise value that you are now going to roll with the following disguise test. This disguise... Didn't I do that earlier? In the last session? Uh, maybe... If you did, I don't I, remember it. It, it was you did, and it was really good. Because yeah. I helped him with it. Oh, no, that was, sorry, that was the, the base value of the disguise, but um, I'm going to say this roll is including the fact of the acting and the things that you're going to get bonus dice. So how much? Your base acting, I'm assuming you're forking and acting. Sure. Uh, so your disguise roll of what was it? Was it four? Uh, disguise is five. Acting is two. Did he die? Okay. No, not yet. No. So okay. roll, roll um, seven dice. What the hell? What is he trying? To All do? of them are ones. This... What is he trying to do? Is this, this is establishing the quality of his ability to disguise himself this season. Oh, what the hell? He's making that? sure that when I come in and start shanking nobles, he's the first that one because I won't recognize him. <laughs> five. Oh, five. Nice. Not bad. You could even explode those two sixes if you wanted and make it even better. I think I'm Kate. Yeah. Are you <laughs> sure? You are very, um... I'm Kate. Very... I'm, I'm gonna die with a lot of Arthur. <laughs> okay, so, so describe, describe... Like Mega Elixirs. Just describe to me how you approach the guard. Well, I did. He did. He uh, no, no, strutted. But, I mean, but so, so you, 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 the, the guard sees you coming, and he's like, "Hello." He just hands him the invitation. Looks the other direction. Ooh, nice, supercilious, perfect. Um, the guard looks at it. He says, "Ah, uh, my lord, come in." Beckons you through. He obviously can see from your dress you're extremely fancy, and from the fact that you're like literally craning your neck so far back, so that uh, knows him. You're just and like, as you oh. walk past, you hear. That's one of the disguised people. Kill him. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> 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 uh, okay, and so you make your way into the front garden, which is full of people mingling. Um, it, there seems to be an interesting structure to the to what's going on in the evening. It seems to be there are a large number of people who are there um, just in general terms. They've been invited because they're important, but there are also many people who have actual purposes. So there <gasps> seem to be groups occasionally retiring to various different rooms and positions in order to discuss things, because this is actually, this does have a purpose. Cheese trade um, cannot last without this. Well, which is, yeah, interesting you should say that, but uh, sadly, <laughs> this is not a cheese-related evening. Darn it! Um, where are the toilets? <laughs> well, where, where are you standing, the garden? <laughs> where is the abattoir? <laughs> well, uh, there, there's the plan involved in this. Are the toilets anywhere near where the people are retiring? In, in the back. Are you going somewhere. to make the toilets explode? Well, well you gas? can see people going into the building, but I mean, people inside the building as well. Poisoning but, everyone. Do they all drink from the God toilets? Damn, Phil. Yes, but but Rufus, this is this is basically the the pre the pre function function. Of everybody's milling around, getting drinks from trays, generally having a swag time. As because uh, it's still there's still lights, so people are outside and having mm. having a good time. Um, <coughs> you can't actually see. You, unfortunately, you don't have X-ray eyes, so you can't see what's going on inside the building. Uh, no. Uh, he didn't okay, where would one assume that the, 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 the facilities would be that, located? That reminds me, Luke, can you spawn like some stuff so we can kind of build the embassy and see where everybody is? Absolutely. Sure. Part, part this is the embassy? No, it's not that's you. Like, <laughs> that is the embassy. Bigger, maybe that, that, some bigger that stuff. That is the embassy. Have you... I think you can actually scale it. I think there's actually now a uh, thing to scale stuff. So what, which ones do you spawn? Is it the... Um... RPG kit? 
No. Uh, the RPG kit has the walls and stuff like yeah, that. I don't know if there might be too many. My toilet in Korea. There'll be too many. There'll be too many rooms for you to. Uh, to have. No, we're not going to do like the rooms, but basically just like the embassy and where everybody is. Like this can be the the house pretty much. You know. Oh no! You ruined the embassy. That's ruining everything. Okay, well, second. I'm just going to say that's there. That's there. That's there. That's there. It's going to be eight wide, I think. <laughs> well, those <laughs> are the uh, ill-fund expansions. It turns out using uh, gravity on the moon is remarkably difficult. Uh, Funny uh, that. This is not a very well laid out <laughs> building. If someone were to flip the table, would, uh, no. would that work now? Minecraft, this ain't. This isn't. Okay. Okay, so this is the building. This is the building. I'm going to say the dark patch on the table here. Is the back garden. This is the garden, yeah. So, okay, so basically, Christoph and Phil are here. Uh, Christoph and Judson are there. Is that? Okay, and then I'm going to put this behind the building and what this represents. Oh, god damn it. Wait, is this the front garden or the back garden? Uh, one second, I should explain in a second. I just accidentally added these pieces. These wall sections here represent the, uh, the, front. the back garden. Oh, the back garden, okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically, we are here then. <laughs> these pieces are so useless. Well, that's because you've made gravity super silly. Stop yeah. being racist. Nothing, nothing about the silliness. Gravitist. Okay, excellent. Um, now, now. So there you go. So Rufert is over here at the front. Okay. Let's say that there's um, this chair Secret will chair. represent the. Uh, this the main chair. Entrance. You can spawn a chair. That's a yep. tiny little chair. Look at that. He's right next to Rufert. It's the tiniest chair. chair. <laughs> it's a mini chair. I'm, I quite like these mini chairs. I demand that the chair go with us on our grand adventures. Fucking chairs. So this is this is the main gate. This is the yeah. what's it, This one here is like the back gate or what? God, it's like we're really there. <laughs> if this is what the city you are making looks like, you're all poor. So where the, where, where's the bog? The people, where are the you people don't shit? know. You have to go inside. You had one job, Richard. There is a way you can find out, which is you could ask a servant. I will do that later. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, we have consp conspir team conspiracy over well, here. My intent is to wait until there is a big group of people going in and just go in with them. Yeah, I would that like to uh, point out uh, how everyone is dressed, please. Like a servant. Okay, well, actually, there's um, there is some stuff on this. Um, there are a whole bunch of different characters you see wandering around. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a distinct cultural difference. In general, the Brass Empire tend to have more stuff involving silk, and as you might. Uh, not be surprised to hear quite a lot of them have various different nationalistic emblems because they're here in a diplomatic <coughs> function so different representatives of different part of the empire have mm. different styles um, there is a lot of brass on display um, some of it is actually gold which has been made to look like brass because fuck it um, <laughs> uh, there, there are several different the main people who you notice being as it were nexuses of social activity are uh, there's the brass ambassador who is actually separate from the governor of the brass quarter um, who I'm going to say, Clyke, if you want to make uh, noble wise roles, I can tell you Clyke has knowledge of these characters. Uh, I Clyke don't have noble ambassador... wise, though, I have court gossip. So, court gossip wise, but for, for the purposes, you, you, you've you heard a little bit about these people. Okay. So, you know, the ambassador is meant to be um, urbane and clever and generally regarded as somebody who is pretty much used as a useful fool. He doesn't know that much about what the Empire plans. He's basically there just to provide a, a smiley face, shake a lot of hands, because he doesn't really have that much purpose. Um, right. The governor of the Brass Quarter is a reserved ex military man who was some type of general and was extremely successful in putting down a number of very brutal revolts in the homeland and apparently did it extremely efficiently. He's quiet and reserved, generally regarded as being... In fact, it's uncertain if he's nice or nasty. He's merely efficient. Um, and he has a scar and you can see him hovering around in the background looking a little bit awkward. Um, there is an, a tall, elegant woman wearing a black silk garment with a high collar and drawn back black hair who you have How no fancy. idea who she is, but she appears to have a rather large number of functionaries with her. Uh, the garment she's wearing is fairly plain. Um, ah, fuck that then. Then, as you also can see, representatives of the Evan major families uh, around and about with associated sycophants and hangers on, appropriate toadies and bootlickers. Um, and other than that, everybody else, as far as you can tell, is uh, just A N other noble. So. Well, who is the fanciest dressed then? Mm. The fanciest dressed is probably some combination of the representatives of the Evan major families and the ambassador. So, my. <sighs> fuck that guy. How's the. Uh... Is it no, not difficult at all to get in with a big clump of servants then, uh, Luke? Uh, I'm going to say that uh, you see a 
large group of people going in, ex including a cart. And yeah. you can elect to go with them if you choose. Yes. Describe, the... to me, describe to me the task and the intent, and I should tell you what you can use to roll. My intent is just to uh, go in with it as if I'm trying to support the car, as if like one of the at the back of the car, as if the wheel is slightly dodgy and it needs somebody there just in case it uh, moves suddenly and disturbs the stuff inside the back of the car. What about you, Clayker? Uh I like Judson's plan. I'm going to do the same thing, like with my, my, my hood back and everything, so you can't, like, you know, I don't look suspicious or anything. Mm -hmm. And once we get, if we manage to get through the gate, uh, I'll let Judson walk with the cart and walk in with the people, and I'll basically, like, hide in the garden in the hedges mm -hmm. with, my, with yeah. my hood and my mask on. Yep. Do either of you have acting? No. I'm using no. inconspicuous instead. Inconspicuous I'm using inconspicuous too, yes. Okay, who, which, which of you has higher inconspicuous? I have inconspicuous three. Okay, Kiko has it. Okay, can I so... fork one in then? Oh, what you can do is you can help him. Yeah, yeah can help I will gladly accept your help in this. I'm going to say that because your plan involved a defined statement of how you're going to do it and the guard doesn't give much of a toss, you get a bonus dice of advantage. What's the obstacle? The obstacle is two. Are we uh, doing it carefully? <laughs> That's fine. If you, do, well, if you tried it, you have it. The problem with doing it carefully is it no. means that... No, no, yeah, no. This, there's an opportunity here, we like need to go for it. it. Opportunity yeah, yeah let's go. just go. So, uh... No, something bad's gonna happen. What the fuck? Something bad's gonna happen. Okay, um, it becomes immediately clear to the guard that you two are trying to sneak in. And he looks at you and he's just like... Ugh. You stop. He points to Kiko. Hmm? He's like, what are you doing here? Walking in? Does he keep me too? Or can I keep walking and acting like nothing's happening? Uh, he, he sort of gestured at both of you. Walking okay. in? He's like, do you do you lot know these two? Pointing to the, the, the lot carrying the uh, dragging in the cart, and they're like, no. <laughs> He's like, okay, who are you two? So now you you got to persuade him. What's going on? Yeah, I have persuasion for. Okay, uh, Kiko, what about you? I don't have persuasion. You could always try falsehood. Uh, I don't you know have that? falsehood. Okay. But I know what my cover story is. What is your cover story? It. Let's go. I'm the extra cook they asked for. Ah, how are you are you going to use any? Are you going to evince any evidence to demonstrate this? I have my various cooking equipment I brought with me. Yep. You did bring it with you. I did bring it with me. Well, in that case, I have. I bring all my. I bring it with me. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to say you. Um, he's convinced. You, you don't need to roll. He's just straightforward. He's just like, yep. why would some idiot just try and wander in with a bunch of pots and pans and stuff? That's retarded. Okay. I just I just walk in together with Kiko. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kiko's Kiko's quick thinking has saved you both. Cooking I skill, yeah. I actually had a pretty good idea what to do too, but sadly, I, didn't I'm just do so that. pleased by the fact that you actually brought the cooking stuff with him. Did you say that you did that last time? I always bring it with me. He, dude, he's got all his stuff with him. Oh, my oh, stuff is with me. By the way, my my cover story would have been that I am basically a dealer for one of the nobles, and he needs his stuff, and I would have shown him the little pouch with the powder in. And I would have been like, yeah, you, you know, they mm. need this. That, I think that would have required a, a persuade roll, but it's the good but one. Yeah, well, that... persuasion four, man. You know, <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick thinking saves the day. Nice. One. So, yeah, you're 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 tailing off, and I'm going with the cart. Yeah. At, okay. at this point, basically, yeah, like I let Kiko go with the cart and the other people, and I'm going into the garden. Well, that means we're both in. So yeah, Kiko we're both in. It's marvelous. I, I, I'm moving this position thing over to here to represent Phil's position somewhere over here. He's getting close up. I'm basically, I'm basically somewhere over there. What I'm doing is know. I'm going into a hiding spot where I'm pretty sure that I can't be found. And once it gets dark and so on, uh, I'm already looking for <laughs> a place. Like we, <laughs> we, we said that they have like these roses or just like uh, vine kind of plants or whatever growing all over the embassy, right? Mm. Uh, and, yes, yes, we agree that. Yeah, and so they have these things that are easily climbable, like these kind of like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like they're, they're, they're creepers. They're combination. Yeah, they're creep there's combination trellises? of creepers. Yeah. Trellises. No, they have these. They, they they have like you know how you build something. Yeah, for trellises. Them? Yeah, yeah, trellises. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. you can climb trellises. trellises. Yeah. Yep, it's one of those old-fashioned words. I think it's originally French. It's etymology of trellis. That's the, uh, okay. the brass cord. Uh, I'm looking if there's a trellis that could lead me to a window or something that I could you, get in. If you do find one, <laughs> thank the... basically planning thank my the, approach. If you do find the one... The etymology of trellis is quite interesting. It is, in fact, from Old French trulli, from Latin trillix, meaning three-ply, from lysium, meaning warp thread. There if, you go. Uh, anyway, sorry, Clyker, if you do find one, thank the Brass Quarter Botanical Garden Society. I will. <laughs> do I have to do, like, a perception roll or something to spot that, or...? 
Uh, no, no, no. We already agreed that's there. You don't have to roll any perception to realize the fact that there are trellises on the building. No, no. I mean, but I'm I'm seeing where I can get in if there's like a window mm. there or a balcony or something like. Oh, right. Okay. Well, first I'm going to say on all of one this this dire fate there is an open window. Okay, so there is not an obvious open window that you can see. But um, is there, there is a window I could reach, or a balcony. Yeah, there are a bunch oh, of windows and, and balconies and stuff. Oh dear, yes, yes indeed, okay. Siegfried. Like climbing up to balconies on trellises. This only if happens in there. You're so screwed. I know. Unless, unless it is someone. If someone retreats they, into the maze. Oh, wait, just, just, just as a note. Yeah. Um, the gardens here, there are actually some areas which are, as it were, enclosed. Like, there are areas where the, the hedges have been sculpted into actual, like, there's, the, the, there's a maze, and in part of the maze, the hedges have been sculpted so they, with topiaries. So they go the full way over the top, so it's actually quite yeah. dark inside some of that. Um, yeah, the trellises yeah. go all the way around the building. It's obvious they wanted to make the building look rather nice. Um, this side of the building, basically, you see the left side, um, basically Kiko's side. Mm. That side is the brass quarter side, so everything on that side almost is brass quarter stuff. Um, everything on the right is... Thing. So if you can imagine a line dividing the board down the middle there. That's a rough geographical split for two quarters. Yeah. And this side of the of the building here is in fact covered in brass. But the brass is in turn covered in these fucking things. So it's do like, I have to do like a stealthy roll or something, or am I just hidden? If you're, if you're climbing up the back, if you're climbing up the back side, tell me what you're, what you're trying no, to no, do. No, no, not yet. I'm still waiting for it to get dark, and you know, like for people to or stop. If you're if you're loitering, you don't need to worry too much about it. There are a few people hanging around. If you just um, if I'm fine to say do a stealthy roll. Or inconspicuous is probably better. Stealthy would be plain hiding. Inconspicuous is just like. Okay, light Yeah, yeah. Go for inconspicuous. Are you, are you telling me how you're doing it? Are you forking anything? Are you. Um. I would say carefully is probably. I'm, I'm going to tell you what being. If you choose to do this carefully, it means that were a guard to look to look and start walking towards you, you'd be playing it cool. So that yeah. if they find out, okay. you'd know late. But yeah, otherwise, that, you still. That sounds good. I'm going to carefully be inconspicuous about it. I'm just going to like, you know. Look around the gardens a little bit. Be careful. Not look in the conspiracy. No, no hood on. No mask or anything. Then you get surprised and you're like, "Who are you? I'm Krista Vanadorn. I mean, bugger." Ooh, nice. Nice. Okay. Thanks, Very nice. That'll come up. Uh, make a note of that score just in case it comes up for guards. Okay, now um, Dominic and um, Siegfried, what are you up to? Uh, Siegfried first. Uh, I'm technically waiting at the spot for the. Okay, so you you reached the spot. Okay, so you, you, you arrived early, and a couple of other um, chaps have turned up. Uh, the place you actually are gathering is inside a courtyard, um, at the back of a rather run-down, crappy-looking tavern, which is surprising given the area, given that this, this part over here, um, where Phil is standing, is actually in the enclave, technically. This is a pretty high-class area, and you had to... Um, let's just say that you look a little bit out of place, and so do the others. Um, but you're inside, you're inside this, uh, this, this courtyard, so you're actually sealed off. From the rest of the quarter, um, there are a couple of other uh, toughs hanging around. Are you going to talk to them about anything? Mm. Fight them? No. No, not particularly. I don't think so. Well, you could try. I'm just saying you could try asking them for information about stuff because they are the cartel members, so they might have information on what's been going on. Sensibly, they just might just be like, "I like pork." That is a possibility, but in that case, you might get some free pork. So win-win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the moment, no. Siegfried's gonna quietly just stand there and wait for the um, the guys in charge to show up. <laughs> Everything is brass, including the toilet paper. Agreed. Okay, so you're waiting there. Um, Dominic, tell me what your character's up to. My plan is twofold. Stand yeah, on first, the chair. Excellent. Stand on the guard. First, he will uh, he will mingle a little bit, seeing if there's any uh, food for people to to mend. <laughs> first, is, you you tough you... face. You immediately find a whole, an absolute surfeit of canapes, weird things, larks, tongues, boiled in milk, all kinds of absolute nonsense food. Um, he shall uh, be seen nibbling on some of it, and while he does so, he shall sleight of hand sprinkle some of that shit all over it. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to say... Wait, what is he doing? He's poisoning Trying everybody. Poison everyone. And I with think what? Re re we don't know. <laughs> I'm Replace say... poison with kill. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, he hoped it was something that would give them a stomach upset, but because he failed that, it could be far more potent. It could potentially be paint stripper. I'm going to tell you out of character, it's turpentine. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. I knew a guy who drank that. He got crump. <laughs> so it could be, you know, it could be worse, but it's not what, It's not necessarily quite what he thought it was. It's not arsenic. I'm, I'm going to say that... Uh... 
it's it, it, you realize it is it would be extreme. okay. Slice of hand, obs three, because you're doing it literally right on a tray in front of somebody looking at the tray. Carefully. Uh, you can certainly try and do it carefully. Consequence of failure if it's carefully. Uh, let's say that if it's done carefully, he he will see the bottle. Uh, okay, that. Well, he's got to. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh. You could. Explode! <laughs> okay, Spen explain in six. Spend that. Spen no, 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 Yes! Oh. Victory. Oh, yes. It's been another explode, though, if it, if it kept on a six. Nah, yes. well done. Well done. Well, guys, remember there's always the patient the option. If, you, if you're doing something easy with a high skill, you can always say patient and, and acquire mad swag for su extra successes. So yeah. you've sprinkled some turpentine on the uh, various <laughs> on the various kind of pace, yes. without, without apparently anybody noticing, despite the fact that stuff smells incredibly strong, <laughs> such as the power of your wrists. Well, so is all that weird food. It's Asian. It wouldn't notice, I guess. It's true. I, I like it's the gross. casual racism there. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, thank okay. you. They don't notice that you put poison in it because they're weird Asian food. Nice. I don't yes. think there's an Asian continent. It's true, actually. This Isn't is Brass uh... Empire sort of supposed so. to be... Because I was anyway, feeling super sorry. inventive when I came up with it, yes, they are basically Fantasy Asia. However, I'm going to say that there's some cool twists that I'll make up later when I decide to okay. be the best so, What you didn't know is that they all have two cocks. So what right? is... Uh, uh, the, all the, of the, them. Se the second part of the plan is there's probably a bunch of servants going around with a bunch of trays with food and shit. Mm -hmm. You're poisoning he needs to too. surreptitiously trip one of those into the ambassador, ruining his dress. Uh... Holy shit, okay. I told you guys he was the man for the job. What this... job, we don't yet know. If there's <laughs> anyone who can cause a distraction for me to sneak in, it's him. Okay, so you're trying to trip up a guy. Okay, so this is technically brawling, but you're trying to do this uh, can, with sleight of, of hand. Slide of hand him. So I'm going to say this is actually sleight of hand, yeah. Um, although it's really sleight of foot. This I'm going to say... Just, just a sneak, go up behind him, sneak your uh, hand underneath him and pull his balls down so he trips. <laughs> You tug on his board. Alternatively, board, like, alternatively, <laughs> Rupert, you could just trip him. No, I think, I think we should actually literally take that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Point. Right? Fair it's enough. A little crazy, remember. Okay, let's do this. A little crazy. Okay, so you're going for the um, the stuff. If he fails this, the man will go. Why is your hand on my balls? And you just and he, look at him and you do like this. And this, he will. Everyone will turn like. and look at you. Ordinarily, this would be obs two, unsuspecting target and all that. However, you get a plus one obs disadvantage for the fact. I'm trying to aim him. Yeah, you're trying to grab the balls. So it's okay. I I use, a, I use a, I use a fate on this. Yeah, persona. 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 Oh God! Stop throwing them off. And also, <laughs> this one you need to re-roll. This isn't even an actual roll. That uh, that's Luke's call. Uh, no, I mean, it's it's either way. It's a success. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you grab upon his unfortunate testicles and tug on tug on them like the cord on a lawnmower. And, yes. Yeah. <laughs> just for you, Rufus. Just for you. And. He trips head first, um, throwing the tray towards the ambassador, who is looking extremely fabulous, by the way. He is and, okay. so far. So far. He, could dodge. he could dodge, though. He's going to take a speed test. By the way, I love, how... okay. Sorry, go ahead. I love how someone in the chat said, the twist is they all have two cocks, which I said instead, so you read my fanfiction, like. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay, obs, obs two, let's say. Um, dodge the canapes. <laughs> No. Nope. Okay. Can we? Can the uh, the guy his balls has just told take a steel test for the fact that he's almost just spilled stuff all over the. I don't think he's left. The ambassador. I think, I think he's automatically bailed. Like he's just standing there looking horrified. He's just like, oh. That guy's dead. Well done. Yep. May I, uh, oh, by the may way, act, dire, act dire fate on a one. One of the canapes lands in the full champagne glass of the ambassador, and it all splashes over him too. No. Oh, it was Aww. a good embellishment, but unfortunately. Okay, uh, follow up on this, if uh, it's mm. still my turn. It is indeed. He, he's, uh, he's hesitating. <laughs> Rupert pulls well, uh, balls, Dominic gets goes, another victim no. of famed force hand jobs. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, no, no, seeing this, and makes a genuine sad face at the, put, with the dress being ruined. And he goes up to the ambassador and he starts rubbing the stain and sort of like crying a little bit. No, no. So well, your reaction well, is to look creepy. Well, he's he's very sad that this dress. Are you using Are you using a skill to, uh, to tell me your intent? Please act. take out his pockets. Please steal from he's him. A, his his intent is to steal fucking everything from him <laughs> uh, while rubbing the state in. <sighs> this is Ob's four slides of hand. <laughs> That's uh, 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 Arthur. Because How this many dude is so. How do you want to spend on this? 
This guy is very aware of the fact. <laughs> Ever it takes. You can spend is, more than one. You this guy is suddenly very aware of the fact that another. he is covered. Throw them here. Throw them here. Throw them here. <laughs> this is why we don't <laughs> have the set pieces the in, in the. Press, press the back button. Yeah. It should. It should come back. Yes, yeah, that's the undo button. Ah, okay. <laughs> anyway. And I was using two thingy on this. Oh. Two persona. Wait, you can use two multiple. Yeah, you can persona? use up to three. You can use up to oh. three. One, Fuck. two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. Yeah, it's a nice. success. Okay. Right. Um, as you as you, you you pat him down, and he appears to be surprised but thankful for somebody attempting to help him. Um, all all you glean um, is a small tube. It's mine now. Um, um, <laughs> it is now the tube Luke. of Rupert. It goes yes, into the belly. Where am now, I uh, in this I situation? At this, at this moment, Kiko, you I, I, okay. So sorry, just to cut quickly from that, Kiko is making his way into the the main building. Mm. I assume. Yes. Into the kitchen. Yes, into the kitchen specifically, which is quite easy to see. Out over all the kitchen stuff there, and never does anything except cook for the last next two hours. Anyway. Okay, okay so you you see the kitchen. Okay, so you, you come in and you see there's a hustle and bustle of a large number of um, fairly motley looking chefs assembling various different things. They all they're all doing different stuff. Half of them are from one side, half of them are from the other. There are tons of waiters going blah, 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 running everywhere. That's exactly the noise they make, and. Um, you can immediately see that there might be um, an opportunity for you to discuss various things with various people as there is a lot of gossiping going on. Because not all of these guys have something to carry and there is a, an absolute surfeit of servants. Because right. everybody has brought their this personal is actually a This is actually a, uh, a, good, a good time to, uh, to discuss indeed. Uh, and I can easily do that while pretending, or not even pretending, actually helping with the cooking <laughs> while I'm doing this. Because this will make people... More receptive to my discussions. And what will so happen? So you're saying it's going to be a link test. It's going to be a linked so, test. So your intent, your intent is to do some cooking, yep. and to use the success of your cooking, yep. the margin of success on the cooking test, mm -hmm. will determine the number of extra dice you get as a bonus to the following. What type of test are you going to be trying to do? Uh, slight, I've got to be slightly realistic here and say that Judson is only going to have cooked, like raw game and shit, and these are going to be professional cooks. Yeah, but I, cooked, I don't think it'll matter. Cooking, like, it ridiculous stuff. stuff. Anywho. This is why he's going to be pulling out, like, the Mad Arthur, I assume, to represent that suddenly fate smiles upon him and he's struck with inspiration about how to best arrange Lark's tongues. But you're trying to emulate people who, as you say, Lark's tongues... Unfortunately, he described them as shabby and not very impressive looking as well. Well, no, the thing is, the point is more that there isn't a standard chef's uniforms because they're not on front of house, so what that means is you don't need a disguise to fit in. So can I get my roll done, please? Okay, so... I'd like to roll the dice! I have to take the ops. The obs, the base obs for doing this, mm. is obs three because right. this is something fancy for a large number of people. Yep. Okay. Use your cooking skill. What are you forking in? I can't fork in any other skills. Uh, really? No, there's no other skills I can use fork in. Do you have any social skills? No. This is just for the cooking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I was just thinking. I maybe, maybe has a skill you'd fork in. Wait, do I... you have observation? No. <laughs> oh, that'd be a good idea. You could fork an observation if you could say, um. Uh, I'm only skills being learnt that four out of five. I don't have the oh, skill yet. That's so I've irritating. not had an opportunity to have another observation roll since then. I blame the game master. What a bastard. You have okay. persuasion, right? No. What? Didn't you just use that? No. No, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't just use that. I have no persuasion skills. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, go, go nuts. You've got to be obs three. Well, I'm probably not going to succeed. Well, you can always make it open ended. That's if I roll any sixes. Yeah, if you roll sixes. Which I won't. Two sixes. Okay, I think I need to. Uh, I think I need to open end this. Actually, I'm surprised. So you've already got one bonus dice from the success. The extra two, any successes you get from this point on, will be bonus dice mm, for next. Time. I'm going to spend a fate to explode this. So excellent. excellent. So we've got three. And four. Four. Okay, so you've got two dice bonus in the next set. Notice this is an example of where a, a, the cooking skill has effectively allowed you to talk to somebody. Yes, cool. but I don't have any social skills. <laughs> well, what, what is what is um what, what level is your cooking? Uh, three. That, that's a difficult test for you. Nice. Um, okay, so tell me tell me what the next part what, what, what the next thing you're going to try and do is with those bonus dice in hand. I am trying to glean information 
about where approximately all of the various dignitaries and important people will be located at roughly nine o'clock at uh, nine bells, which is what I know is when these people are going to attack. So then, if I know where they are, I know where I need to be. That's quite a specific thing. It is, but that is pretty much. I'm. It's it's basically worded in the what's the order of ceremony with this? When's yeah. what going to be I served, know, and where are they going to be? There's probably also lots of people like like they're probably talking to each other while they're mm. preparing the food, and they're probably yeah. being like, oh, we have to get like this has to be on the mm-hmm. on the table by nine bells yeah. because then the big feast is going to start. No, so no, yeah. that's 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 good. Okay, okay. In that case, um, what would be an appropriate social skill for this? Let me think. Cause, I mean, this is is it, are you are you like talking them up? Describe to me how you're talking to them. What's what's the nature of your strat here? How what's the conversational gambit you're employing? The conversation here is since these people are. Are generally cooks and servants the way that they are to be talked to is um if i'm trying to get information about what's being served where and where people are going to be it's a very matter of facty sort of way because if you're trying to worm information out of them it's suspicious but if you're going when's this meant to be there for what part of the meal and where are they going to be it's sort of matter of fact sort of answers to stated questions <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. So, so the, the, the trick is really you're trying to convince them that you're one of them. Yes, that's persuade, isn't it? Yeah, I, th- I think persuasion is, is is vanilla, but probably the most obvious. Yeah. Thing here. So that's since I'm still learning that. Um, yes, that is be- that is beginners like persuasion. Now, right. the obs, the will of the person you're trying to persuade is three. Yep. So this will be ob six. However, you have two bonus dice. And I'm going to give you an advantage die as well because you're not asking particularly One, tricky, two, salty three, four, questions. Five, six, and seven. also because I'm pretty sure that they're not really noticing this kind of stuff because well, all of them are like. There goes my second heavily. persona. I need to know this information. I can't spend it on beginner's luck. So, no. So, um, are you adding in a further die? I, I can with persona if I'm allowed to spend it on, on beginner's luck. That's of course problem. you can. Yep, you can always spend it. Yep, um, which goes after, on the primary it. stat, yep. which is perception, so. Uh, it's will. It's will. will. It's I, will. I think all of these, all of these like, cooks and so on, they're probably way more focused on, like, the. the the food that they're preparing in front of them, I bet they're not even, like, looking at Judson. They're just kind of hearing his voice and answering Dude, that, that's, that's why he's got, he's got the advantage dice yeah, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, I the, the thing eight is, dice for up six. Eight dice. I mean, what, what, nice. just, just, just to finish, hitting, hitting the target just means that you get dice. all the information you want. Yeah, you not hitting it get... means I'll get less. Yeah, exactly. You'll still get some. That is uh, nowhere near. Total uh, abject failure. Well, Ooh. three the half still so, oh man okay so this is, this well, is i was never going to succeed 8v6 uh you could have easily done have, there were there were two have, sixes yeah. coming and then they got screwed by the table by uh, your table. gravity actually <laughs> oh the gravity get you back to the gravity if the situation is too deep mm. nice I like so i'm not going to get anything out of that okay One perversity he, says, point for Phil. he says by about nine o'clock almost everybody will be in, inside because it'll be getting dark eight six is a chant no you you don't no never mind hang on go on Yep. Uh, no, that that would be um, what's what's the what's no, the base it's stat? persuasion, so it goes on persuasion instead. Because cool. I'm learning the skill, so it goes there. Cool, cool. Um, so the uh, what you find out is that by about nine o'clock, they're expecting almost everybody to be back inside because it'll be getting dark, and most people won't want to be hanging around in the garden. Mm. Um, beyond that, you collar a couple of let's just say there are a couple of other waiters wandering around. You collar a couple of them and find out just some vague information about the whereabouts of the most obvious people there. So a couple of the members of the Eleven families, uh, the ambassador and the governor, the other only people whose position you find out. Armed with that information, my intent at some point is to, um, when it gets close to that time, to uh, get away from the kitchen and move myself closer to the room where they should all they should mostly be at that point can i also mention that mm. in this in the in the servants who are generally also in the back garden like in case you want to talk to any of them there are a few there yeah. um a lot of these guys are personal servants they've come with their masters to this particular place in the case of the brass empire some of them are actually slaves because mm. they have slavery and it's uh, legal in the brass quarter but not outside because mm. that's how concessions work and you might be able to pump them for information that their masters might not think they know, but they nonetheless do, because slaves see everything. Not for me, that's not my purpose. My purpose is to minimise loss of life. All right, not to get information for anyone else. That's Kristoff. Alright, can I can tell you, you, you take advantage of the situation at all? Well, like I said, I'm still kind of waiting for it to get uh, dark so I can see an opening. And, uh, well, I actually... The thing is, I need to know when... 
actually i kind of i'm kind of going to take a bit of a look around because i need to know when people are distracted enough for me to move freely into like the upper parts of the embassy into the offices and so on uh i'm going to say roll beginner's luck embassy wise obs one uh okay is that perception mm -hmm. it's perception so, so ops one, two, so it's two. two yeah, I shouldn't really do this, but this is basically whether or not you have an idea that I think you can do. Uh... <laughs> I have <laughs> no idea <laughs> you, at all. You sit there gazing slack jawed into well, space. What I I'm wonder... going to do is basically I wanna, I'm, I'm going to walk around a little bit. I'm going to get a bit familiar with the uh, with the back garden and, you know, look at the trenches or what they were called to, uh, you know, while being inconspicuous. And then um, I'm going to take a quick look into the kitchen where I assume that um, Judson is. Yep, yep, yep. I'm I'm I like appreciate your rendering of inconspicuous and inconspicuous because it sounds like a combination of inconspicuous and suspicious. It's pretty yeah, great. Yeah, sorry, inconspicuous, yeah. No, no, it's good because it's like, I'm okay. suspicious. So do I see Judson in the in the kitchen? Uh, first what I'm going to do is roll an unskilled observation test for the servants you're wandering past. So if it's unskilled, that means op six. Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> so the short answer to this is... Yeah, zero. Okay. They explode their sixes. <laughs> they explode their sixes and one servant goes... Traitor! And you, and you die. Exactly. In retrospect, servants don't have Arthur, so that was a slightly pointless role, but whatever. You know they were looking. <laughs> okay, um, so I find, I take it, I find Judson. So you, you peer in through the door to the kitchen, and you see Judson animatedly talking with one of the cooks, while at the same time, uh, he seems to be fiddling, like, actually surprisingly successfully with some lark's tongues. He's, make, he's arranging them in little patterns. That was his trick. He was like, I don't know how to prepare these, so he just made, he okay. made pretty little presentations. I, yeah. Uh, I, walk over to, I walk over to Judson, I grab myself a piece of carrot that's there, and put it in my mouth and chew on it. That's not and... hygienic, I tell you. <laughs> it's okay. And then I ask, uh, I ask Judson, um, you know, while I just looking at the food that he's preparing casually, I just go like, did you hear anything? Pass me the salt. Passing it salt. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Um, I, I am um, quietly. Um, I, I, I'm telling him that. Um, what I'm going to say to him. My intent is to tell him that, uh, indicating to the uh, the lark the a a dish over on the table that I know that the I know roughly what sort of food's going to be um served at nine, don't I? Mm. Uh, you do indeed. I am okay. telling him that. Um, I, I, I pass salt and I say um, oh good, you're finally here. Make yourself useful. Remember, at nine bells, that has to be in the main function room. I like this uh, cloak and I go, I t Yeah, I tell to... I, I, I say him, oh, okay, I will. That's for the big feast where everyone's going to be, right? That food of that quality is not going to be served to anyone lesser. Okay, got you. I'll bring it then. Excellent. Okay, I, I, uh, I leave him to it, and I go back into the back garden and basically assume position for when it gets honestly, nine bells honestly, to go. Honestly, these people have no idea of fine cooking. Assume the position. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dominic, who is frozen in the action of jacking every single thing, everybody <laughs> owns, even while his teeth, everybody is grabbing balls. <laughs> just pretty much that all three actions he's taken have been stunningly disruptive. Just like fuck all of you. I'm here to fuck shit up. Indeed. Social gathering, know, social chaos. Is shit happening, or true. am I free to uh, continue no, my plan? Nobody, nobody realizes it's you. Um, the ambassador is, 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 is you, you are free to have a conversation with the ambassador, given that he's now thanking you profusely for helping him, not realizing you've actually made the staining worse. I don't know what to, what I actually would want from him. So You're I, like, oh, hello. I've, I've ruined his dress. That's pretty much the the sum of what he wanted to do. <laughs> I have ruined your dress. My life is complete. You are Does nothing to me. Make sense of, of his mission. Do I, do I have one? Yeah. Well, I, I, I would just... have talked to it about it to you if you hadn't walked away from me. I mean, 